Hey guys, and welcome to the Tantrum House HQ. I'm Will Meadows. I'm Sarah Meadows. And I'm Ryan Pills. And today we're going to look at Raccoon Tycoon by Glenn Drover, a bidding and set collection game from Forbidden Games. We've got the whole game set out on the table. Um, we're going to start the game with $10 each. And we also get to start with these three price and production cards. So we're each given three of those randomly. Uh, we've got our money and our commodities. We've got our building tiles laid out. They come randomly out. Some of these are double-sided at the beginning. Um, we've also got our town cards. These puppies will give us victory points at the end of the game. And as we match them with other things, uh, the railroad cards are laid out as well. Since we're only playing a three-player game, we've got how many? Four different railroad lines in there? Cards. So you'll have to kind of check the instruction manual for, for your player setup. Uh, but we've got our prices all set at the base price, and I think we're ready to go. Sarah, why don't you explain the goal of the game and then like what we can do on our turn. All right, so the goal of the game is to be the tycoon in the town of Astoria by the end of the game. And to do so, you'll want to use your money, gaining money to um, sell... Uh, your commodities and gain a property so that by the end of the game you have the most victory points. So on your turn you get one action and there are five different actions that you can choose from. The first one you can do is you have a hand of three cards. Uh, you can play one of your cards. These are all the same type of cards in the deck um, and they are production cards. And what you will do um, playing the production cards, you will gain whatever resources are shown at the bottom of the card. And then you will move the prices of the commodities on each of the uh, levels on the top of the board. All right, so that's the first choice that you can do. The second thing is once you have collected some commodities, you can sell them. And when you sell them, you will, uh, let's say that the price of the luxury goods are we're up to seven and you have three to sell um, so you will get $21 for those three and then however many that you sell it will go down that number of spaces on the board and the new price will now be four dollars a piece. And that'll make sense when we're playing it. Yes. Why don't you tell us what those five actions are and then as we take those turns I think we can uh, All right the other three piece. actions are buying railroads and that will come in as an auction uh, and then we will also get a choice of buying the town cards, which have just straight up victory points, or you can buy building tiles. The building tiles will give you one victory point at the end of the game. They allow you to have one extra commodity in your supply. So normally you get 10, you will now get one for each extra building, and then they allow you to do one extra bonus action on your turn. Most of them are choosing an extra commodity. So Will is going to be our starting player. So he will get to choose one commodity before he starts. Ding. I will be second and I will get to choose two and Ryan is third so he'll get to choose three. So go ahead and take those three commodities. They can be whatever you want. They might be, you know, might be worth getting some of this or these luxury goods are going to end up being worth more later in the game. Kind of depends on what you're going for. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my first turn. I'm going to play one of my commodity cards. So I just reveal that from my hand. I collect the resources that are on that. So I've got three uh, of the goods and two of the coal. Nope, two iron. Iron is what that is. And then these two items that are in the price area will go up on the board. So that wood is going to go up one slot and the goods are going to go up. And then this just goes into a discard pile, which we don't have. And uh, I'll take one more new production price card. And that's my whole turn. All right, on my turn, I am going to use my existing money and I am going to build, buy a building tile. So that costs $5. I'll put that into the bank. A new one will come out to fill the slot. Yep. The first six that come up are the commodities and then new buildings will come up um, after those are gone. I'm going to play another price production card, which first I up coal twice and the luxury goods once and then I get a wheat, a log, and another coal. And I believe that's it. Alright, cool. <laughs> One round done, you guys. Alright, so it goes back to me and the game just keeps cycling through. The end of the game will happen when either all of our railroad cards uh, are exhausted or when all of our town cards are exhausted. So if either of those decks runs dry, that's the trigger for the end of the game. I think we each get one more turn and then that's the actual end. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these guys too. Uh, I will get the vineyard for six. So I'll pay my six. 
and that's the end of my turn. All right. On my turn, I am going to do the production action. So I have this card here that allows me this iron is going to go up two, and then I gain an iron and a coal and two of the luxury. Now, I also already have an iron, so I get one extra iron on my turn. And that is the benefit of the buildings. When you yep. use that building, um, she'll get that every time she uses one of her commodity cards, which is pretty cool. All right. So on my turn, I'm going to sell this coal. So I have four coal, and that's at $4 each. That's mm -hmm. correct. And it goes down four slots. Mm -hmm. It does. But so, it, there's right. only two. So I sell four for four, and that's 16. Boom. Ryan is awesome. rolling in the monies. Uh, so I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to sell my goods, my three of them, for $4 each. So that'll give me 12. Move that down. And then it's Sarah's turn. All right. I am going to play this production card. Um, wood goes up two, iron goes up one, and coal goes up one, and then I gain a coal and two luxury. Now, I do have a limit a on the limit. number of commodities that but you can have. But I am, I have one more before I hit my limit. So the commodity you, is 10. Yes. I have a building, so my limit is 11, but once I gain, I can choose which commodities I'd like to keep. So that goes in the trash. I'm getting a new card. All right. I think I'm going to buy Fat Cat Railroad, so that just costs me four. So actually, this is a bidding area. So oh. the way that works is you would say, I'm going to put the starting bid at four, and then and it has all... the starting bid has to be Correct. four? Correct, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. The way these cards so. work in the game is that when you've collected a set of them, you'll get the victory points that are on them. So one card is worth two, two cards is worth five, and so on. Uh, when you bid on them, you have to at least start with the bid, the minimum bid, and then you start the bid. So if you said, I'm going to start at four, then I would say, okay, five. Are you in, Sarah? I can pass or bid. If I pass, then I'm done and I can't jump back in, um, which I would have to pass because <laughs> I only have $5. Um, but the other thing is, if Ryan doesn't end up getting the card, that doesn't count as his turn. He gets to take another turn and the other person just gets a bonus action. So. I will bid six. I'll go seven. I will bid eight. I'll let you have it for eight. Okay. So that is eight, and there you go. So his money goes to the bank, obviously, not to me. And Does uh, this stay face up? It or does, does it stay get... face up, so we can keep track of And you can try to shaft me later if I try to get another one. Correct. Yes. Like, always oh, going for that cat. Bid it up, <laughs> way up. <laughs> I tried that with Sarah the other day. It didn't work out so great. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and bid on Big Bear for five. You would, and I have no money. Exactly All right, right. I have so to Ryan. pass because I don't have enough. Uh, seven. Eight. Nine. I'll go ten. I'll pass. All right. <clears throat> so Big Bear goes to my collection. Ten dollars goes to the bank. Top dog comes out. What a cute little dog. Yeah, oh, and it's Sarah's turn. All right. On my turn, I am going to sell a commodity. I'm going to sell iron. Oh, she beat me to it. I should have sold. All right, so I have four iron <coughs> at five dollars each, so I get twenty dollars. She's Could've in there used now. that last time. Yeah, I was trying to down. bid while you weren't in there, but I also wanted to do iron. <laughs> I'm going to raise the price of wood and goods, and then get a. All this down here. Yeah. You can start taking your turn, I guess. And I'm going to do a similar thing. If you want to send the wood up to and the luxuries up one, I'm going to collect a wood, a stone, a good, and a luxury. And I'll take a new card if you don't mind. Gracias. All right. On my turn, I am going to sell my luxury items. Oh, she got a bunch. I have four, and they are $5 <coughs> each. So this will go back just down, keep stacking it up so she can sell. get another $20. Wood looks like it's too good to pass up. So I'm going to sell two wood for seven each for 14. I'll let 
Oh, I forgot. Got On it. my last turn, I'm gonna cheat. You're not really cheat, but I have this vineyard card. When I did that, I should have collected that item on my turn. It's because I was rushing. I'm sorry. Yeah. So now it is your it turn again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go ahead and use one more. Uh, I'll do the. I need some wheat. Any wheat? Yeah, let's buy this card. Oh, that's gonna give me more than I need though. Let's just do it. Analysis three. paralysis. Ah, I know. Terrible. Coal. Coal's this thing, right? Coal and two luxury. And if you want to send those items up the chart. Take one new card. And thank you. Um, on my turn, I am going to... <sighs> Shoot, I think I was messed up again. <laughs> I'm going to bid on oh, top. Oh, wait, I am going to do that. So I can only hold 11. I should actually produce one more of these vineyard things. Oh, yes. And so now I have too many. So I can get rid of one of my choosing. I'm going to go ahead and ditch my coal. Okay. So now I've got 11. Yep. All right. On my turn, I am <coughs> going to um, put up Top Dog Railroad for auction. I'm going to start it off with six. Ryan. Uh, we'll pass. What? Don't pass ever. Fine. Fine. Get it for dirt cheap because Ryan didn't bid at all. <clears throat> she was just going to get me stuck with it. And I didn't no, know it. bid her up at least one. She's going to go oh. one. Oh, the, the cats have different illustrations. They too. do. The illustrations Very in this nice. game are actually super great. All right. Yeah, Katie's going to love this. I, I very much like the character illustrations. They've got. And these aren't even all of them. There's like a skunk line. I don't think it's in the deck today. There's a. Is there a raccoon there, line? Yeah, there's six different. Um, Whose turn is it? Is it my turn? It's my turn. It's okay. Ryan's turn. Now, I want to get Bridgewater. Does it require four goods of any type or four of the same type? Of any type or just two wheat? Or weeks. two wheat. So I'll do go. the two wheat. And I get it. And that's two points at the end plus two if I have a railroad. Correct. Or... So that's worth four points right now. Okay. And that's all it will be worth. But yes. Cool. <laughs> Does this stay face up? I believe so. Oh, of course I just got rid of my coal. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. It's my turn now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me finish commenting on the illustrations for just a second. I love the character illustrations. I think they fit really well with the board. They tell a cool story. These icons right here kind of crack me up. They look like they came out of a video game. I don't know. I don't know if this is final art. This is a prototype. Did we mention this is coming to Kickstarter June 17th? I don't think we did that yet. <laughs> so check it out on Kickstarter when it comes out. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to sell some stuff. I think I'm going to sell just one wood. Does that make sense? Uh, I've got a lot of luxury items. Let's sell them even though they're worth hardly anything. Four, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Eighteen dollars. Your turn. All right. On my turn, I am going to use my two coal to get this card here. <coughs> the town card. I will raise the price of wood and goods. That's here. And luxury items. I'll get two luxury items. And are these the iron? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and spend two iron to buy the molehill. All right. On my turn, I am going to. Play this production card. So wood goes up one. That's crazy. I know. And I get wheat, coal, and two luxury. And then I also get to do an iron with my building. All right, Ryan. Ryan. All right. I am going to bid on the fat cat. Four dollars. Five dollars. Six dollars. Seven dollars. Eight dollars. Nine. Ten. I'll go eleven. I'll pass. Twelve. Okay, you can have for twelve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, cool. So that's the gist of the game. I think you got the flow for it. We're going to end up cycling through this a bunch more times. And then as we get down to those final railroads and towns, uh, we'll, we should have a bunch more 
commodities, a bunch more money. Um, we're not going to play, we didn't mention this, there is like a variant where you can play uh, whoever gets to $1,000 first immediately wins the game. Uh, but we're going to play the, well, I don't think we're going to make it to 1000 Maybe we could if we switched our focus. Um, but we're going to jump back to these guys. So we're going to keep playing. Uh, we'll fast forward to the end and we'll show you how to score. And you guys just hang around and we'll be right back. All right, on my turn, I am going to um, put up Sly Fox Railroad for auction, and I'm going to start at three. Now, I do have the auction house tile, which I get a $5 commission for running the auction. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start with $3, Ryan. I will bid $5. $8. $9. $10. $11. Let's go to 11 you don't 12. even need them. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're gonna get. Let's go to twelve dollars. <laughs> Did you skip that? You just... I said twelve. He said okay, 12. something. I said Thirteen. 12. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. I mean, money isn't worth anything at the end, right? Eighteen. Unless oh, so you have a thousand. Nineteen. You're getting five bucks back. Anyway. Money doesn't count for anything. <laughs> Correct. Right? Unless you've got. Okay. Unless you have this the tower bag. here, each twenty dollars gives you one victory. Point. Oh, so I should try to get that. You should probably buy it for thirty dollars, which means oh, you would never. Never mind. <laughs> okay. uh, twenty. I'll oh. pass. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. I had no fault. Which is my lucky number. Twenty-three. <clears throat> Twenty-four. <laughs> I taught him everything. All right, I pass. <laughs> oh, you got uh, it. Awesome. I still get the five dollars. All right, so because she lost the auction, you still get the five bucks. It says for she, each auction held. Oh, very nice. She also still gets right. a, another turn because if you don't Here's win the bid on the auction, yeah. you get. It wasn't to very go sly. It was just brutal. Here's twenty-four. Okay. Well. I don't really need either of the other railroads, so I think I am going to buy the Drover Crossing because I think that you gives me. Five. I can use eight. I'm so close to oh, do you five. get to go again? I do. <laughs> she does. That's what I was I didn't, explaining. I didn't win oh, the railroad. You didn't win. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna do one, I two, missed that. three. You were excited about winning the slide five, yeah. so I'm <laughs> It makes sense. Everything get those victory points. Six, seven, eight. All right, so she's getting Drover. Is this our last one? Whew, we're down to the... Now, wait, did that trigger the end or when these are both gone? Um, I think it's when they're both gone. Okay, when one of the stacks is completely gone, game trigger action. So Ryan could end the game by buying Land's End, but I don't... Oh, yeah. he does okay. have enough. I will is he going to do it? The game. Oh, he oh will yeah, he's still got one more turn. Though. No, I th <coughs> it's, you were starting player, so we all get the same number of turns. I think I should get so one more turn. <laughs> that's eight. eight. <gasps> oh, just raking in the stuff. Fine. You do have a lot of Some stuff. points. We'll see. Okay, so that does mark the end of the game when that card is gone. Everybody should get the same number of turns. I don't know if we each get one more. Probably not. I guess that is the end. Um, so then we take our victory point cards, which I would have loved to have had these two, um, and we just total up our scores. So I've got 14 plus, are these per P total? Are these seven and seven? Or is it just no, seven? No, you get seven for having two. Okay. So three, seven, 13, and 21 for the sets. If I had the sets. For right. the, so I've got two. For the so big seven bear. plus nine, 16, and then... I've got 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. And then because they match up, I've got 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. What do you guys get? Did, so I, count, this is did a, I count loud enough this is a point? for the right. one victory? I believe I have 46. E even though I flipped it over to the <clears throat> other side? Ooh, do you get more points to the other side? I don't know. I think it's just one point. Yeah. Now these... We could have looked at It's not plus two. They don't have to be assigned to a particular railroad, right? It's just if you have any. Well, so, right. I mean, why would you not... But you wouldn't curved, have... So it's like, this is two. This is two. Oh, this is okay. two. This is two. Yeah, I was yeah. trying to understand this why you would... For every set what of... is the risk of having not getting the plus two? Because it seems like you're always going to have a railroad. Right. But well, but I had and I had an extra railroad 
that you I didn't get to max. So I don't town. get. Oh yeah. So oh. I yeah, I had two, two so that. I missed the bonus <clears throat> points on mine. All right. So I had the 10, 20 with this. Um, 39 plus 5 is 44, 45, and then another um, five twos. So 55. Wow. <gasps> Ryan pulls it off. The bidding job, Ryan. the bidding mm -hmm. ace. So if the uh, raccoon tycoon sounds like something you'd be interested in, definitely check it out on Kickstarter. If you're watching this because you already bought it on Kickstarter, then hopefully this was helpful to you as you learn to play the game. And uh, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to check out all of our other stuff from Tantrum House.